In Israel, there are about 7,000 kids with Down syndrome, children who have special needs and require special attention. For many families, it is a difficult journey of acceptance and of learning how to cope and be happy with the cards that were handed to them. This is why Jewish organizations were created here in order to assist. When you get the news that you have a Down syndrome child, uh, a few things happen. First of all, you can't believe it. You're in total shock and uh, denial. It's something that's sort of like a bomb that fell on your head. And somehow Yad Alelev knows how to get to families and uh, to give them the support that they initially need uh, to receive the news and to know what to do with their new life situation. As a father, when our daughter was born 18 years ago, we contacted several other families in the Jerusalem area, in the center area, and we started to come together as parents so that we could act together. And at a certain stage, we saw that we have to open an organized association or an organization in order to have the power together with all the other parents to act and promote the many needs of the children and the families in general. There were times in history when children with Down syndrome were considered flawed and treated as abnormal. But today, in the Haredi ultra-Orthodox world, those kind of misconceptions no longer exist. Today, in the Haredi sector, um, there is even um, respect for these children. We, had a very, we have a very, very big rabbi by the name of the Hazanish. That when a Down child came into the room, he stood up for him because he said, this is a very special kind of a nishama. This is a very kind, a special kind of a soul. So not only is there an awareness, there's also a respect. Every year, about 120 kids are born with Down syndrome in Israel, with a large percentage of them belonging to the ultra-Orthodox community. And as in many other religious communities, abortions are frowned upon in the Jewish faith. We don't believe in abortions. If it could be avoided, we believe it's uh, murder. So uh, the place that Yad Alelev plays in a Haredi sector, when a family has a child like this, and there is a support group, and there's somebody to talk to. To have a child with Down syndrome, I, for example, had no problem taking the child home and loving him. Uh, which wasn't the case with many other children, but nevertheless, you need a lot, a lot of physical strength and, and emotional strength. I've been there. My son is 21 years old. To me, I couldn't see myself living today without him, even though once it was like the, the blackest thing that could have happened to me, only on my enemies. Today, I'm so thankful to Akadosh uh, Brohu that I have this precious, precious person who lives in my house, who I have so much love for him, and uh, the parents who are informed that such a child is being born into their home, so here's people like us from all our heart tell them we love them. During this period in Israel, summer camps for children with special needs are put together in order to allow the kids to have fun and feel like all the others around them. It's very important for a child with special needs that we would be among equals, that he would be in a place where he's loved and fed. And the activities are often designated for the parents, just the same as for their children. The mothers get together according to age, according to uh, boys, girls, whatever it is. They uh, have different kinds of groups and then we sit together. And usually there's someone there, a professional, who gives us information. And sometimes it's just the mothers themselves who get together and we talk and we find out all kinds of things. But, you know, the parents are able to say, you know, dentistry, independence, how do you do this? How do you toilet train? How do you get the children to be more independent? There's all kinds of things. And, and we work as one big family. This uh, holiday that we're having now, having now also gives us strength, also puts us um, on our feet again. And it's uh, very important because it gives mothers one another ability to speak to one another, to exchange information, to exchange ideas, to give strength to each other, which is also very important. In a beautiful place like this, with delicious food, with interesting programs, with simply being spoiled, it's very, very important to give to yourself because if you don't give to yourself, you can't give to others. These days, there are tests to detect Down syndrome, but for the many ultra-Orthodox Haredi families who often do not take the tests, and even once they do, choose to have the baby anyhow, these types of associations that assist are vital. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.